Meet ZoomLock, the 10-second flame-free refrigerant fitting from Parker. Reduce labor costs by 60% with no brazing, no flame, and no fire spotter. Discover how ZoomLock can help you be more efficient and productive. Visit ZoomLock.com for more information. I'm going to show you a good example of low airflow. And the low airflow has been confirmed through a temperature split, and also through my vein anemometer a couple years ago, because I've worked on this unit for years, it always has low airflow. The duct work is too small, especially on the return side. It's a four ton GSZ 138, it's four tons. It has the, I think the 4860 air handler from Goodman down there, so it's a four to five ton air handler. So you can kind of assume it's an enlarged coil, meaning that it has a larger coil as far as efficiency rating. So we have 98.4 degrees on a liquid line, and we have just over 100 degrees saturation, meaning we have very little subcooling, three or four degrees. But when I checked the superheat on the suction line here a few minutes ago, we only had about one or two degrees. And that indicates that there's not enough air moving across the coil to boil off and superheat that vapor coming back to the compressor. All that means is you got liquid going into your evaporator coil, it hits the piston, becomes a saturated saturated vapor, meaning you know, you're right on the line of saturation. It starts to turn over into all vapor in the evaporator coil and take on heat, which is measured in what's called superheat. So if your saturation point, meaning the point where it changes from liquid to vapor, let's say it's 45 degrees, and it comes back 55 degrees, you've required 10 degrees of superheat. This one only acquired one or two degrees because there's not enough air to superheat that refrigerant vapor. Bad part is, I've told them about this for years, but they don't seem to care. But it's one way to sort of recognize it. You know, we have little or no subcooling and little or no superheat on a piston. Typically, if you have little or no subcooling, you're going to think it needs to be charged up. But with this low superheat, you need to double check the airflow, check the filters, see if they're all loaded up. That's about it. Just want to do a quick video about low airflow and how to spot it. If you want to confirm it with some other means, that's great. But it's one way to sort of see low airflow in action. Yeah.